it was right on the extremis but the, the fact is the whistle's gone England are 16 points to nil down and they are they are trailing so so badly so there we are half time whistle has gone it's France 16 England nil this is Talk Sport I'm Mark Saggers JT is your commentator here and uh, Brian Moore alongside him Brian now is not the time for us to have a discussion about where this has all gone wrong. Now is the time for Martin Johnson and this lot to get back in there, to have a look at each other and say, you know, we're not quite as good as we think we are here, but somehow we've got to do something. And, and I, look, I don't know this game. The first thing I do, you all can say that Wilkinson there at the end, who had a valiant effort. Off. Wilkinson off. Flood at fly half. Bring on Harpy. Somehow, England have got to find a way across that line. Or else that's it. We can forget it. And the only decision-making this lot can make, that's who can get to the bar quickest. No, I'm sorry, but that's not right. Well, of you course know, it is. No, right. Harpy, no, it's not. Harpy is never going to play. Why? Because, because Martin Johnson will never pick him. So don't worry about that. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. At the end of the day, what England have to do is you have to control the ball for more than for more than three or four phases. We're not good enough, because Brian. Well, you just asked me what we're supposed to try and do. You said now is not the time yeah, but to start having an income. Look, if you want me to speak, shut up a no, minute. What I want to say just, to you, I want to say to you well, that you, what, say, you, your say, own question, you then. Okay, now you tell me, Brian. You tell me, Brian. I will Brian, do if, if you'll let me. Let me when you say they're not good enough, you tell me then if they're not good enough, why do something they're not good enough at? They've got to do something they're good at. You are trying to get me to give you an answer. I'm trying to give you an answer, and you keep interrupting me. At the end of the day, if England don't keep hold of this ball, and they don't because you the committing penalties when they're in defence, then they will not get anywhere. What they need to do is have periods of possession that they can actually build on and be constructive. At the moment, they're chasing the game, and what's happening is, as soon as they're trying to go forward, they're trying to do things straight away, and they're losing the ball. But okay, let's 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 add to that. You called it actually in the first minute when uh, there was a sloppy throw from Steve Thompson. When England were in a great position to do something, and from that moment on, the French seemed seemed to lift themselves. But you know, if you do look at this a little bit at this stage, uh, Brian, um, they limp past Argentina. They beat a poor Georgian side, but only just. Okay, they scored ten, ten tries against the Romanian 15, a uh, second 15. Uh, Scotland should have beaten them. We shouldn't be surprised at half-time that the French, when they've had a go at England, have got to where they've got. Because, uh, you know, I don't see how poor sides can suddenly turn things like this round. England won their group. They scored 17 tries. The French have been more clinical. They've controlled the ball better. And England have contributed hugely to their own downfall. The only way they'll turn this round is to keep hold of the ball and try and get their strike runs into the game. When they got to Alangi and when they got people running, they did make breaks. They couldn't finish them off for schoolboy handling errors. But that's the only way they'll get back into this game. So how do... I want to stay positive. I know you want to stay positive. How does Martin Johnson get across to these guys to stay positive? Well, he doesn't start telling them what they've done wrong. He starts saying to them, exactly, I've, I've said it. They've got to keep control of the ball and get the strike runs into the game. And when they get chances, they've got to make sure that they run straight, run hard, draw defenders and give the ball at the right time. It's not actually rocket science. Well, no, but it's a, it's a World Cup quarter final and England at the moment being totally outplayed by a French side that we were told um, were in total disarray. There's only one side here in disarray. That's not the French, that's the English. Somehow, they've got to get two converted tries and a penalty just to Take the lead. They've got 40 minutes to do it. It'll be fast and frenetic. It'll be brilliant stuff from Brian and from JT. And it's all happening here on TalkSport. The Rugby World Cup 2011 New Zealand on TalkSport with Dove Men deodorants.